Hi, this is Doug with IdahoMMA.com. I'm here with Kyle Johnson. We're at Jet House Mixed Martial Arts here in Boise. Thanks for your time, Kyle. I appreciate it. Thank you, Doug. So now, now tell me, uh, you've been in the, the martial arts world for 18 years. Tell me how you got started. Uh, this is how I got started. I started because ever since I could remember in my entire life, from the, my first earliest memory was Ninja Turtles. <laughs> Studying the Ninja Turtles, watching out, watching the Ninja Turtles over and over, rewinding the tape until I wore out two copies of Ninja Turtles number one. Wow. Two copies. Went through them by the time I was three years old. And so from that point, it was just like Ninja Turtles, Karate Kid, Chuck Norris, Steven Seagal, everybody I could think of, Bruce Lee. I mean, that was like my main motivation in life. Martial arts, that's where I'm going. That's what I'm going to do. That's all I knew. That's all I thought. That's all I ate, breathed, slept. So even before the time I could start training, I was like, I was training. I was playing. Right. I was throwing spears. I was like swinging samurai swords around. That was it, you know? Right. So That's great. So now, what are you doing now? You're you're actually training. I'm people. training, train people. Um, the last few years, I was co-owner of Taiso Karate Dojo with Shelly Michael Check, um, and then we basically dispersed that everything, friends, all that, you know. Um, now I'm just teaching classes out of Jet House MMA, um, just working with kids and uh, doing a lot of private lessons with certain people, working on. Uh, some fight choreography for a, a movie coming up, a local movie coming up. Work on a, some fight choreography for a play uh, coming out here next month. So that that kind of thing. Wow, that's that's pretty impressive. You didn't yeah. tell me that when we were talking. <laughs> that's well, that's pretty good to know. Yeah, yeah. There, there's always more that yeah. comes out, you know. Right. Well, you know that that's interesting. So as far as um, you know, martial arts, mixed martial arts in the last let's say a couple years in the Treasure Valley. Okay. You know, what's your opinion on, on on where it has gone? Where it started as opposed to where it's gone and where it's going, right? Yeah. Okay, um, I, I figure I started noticing mixed martial arts as in, um, you know, the coined operation of what MMA is, you know. I, st- I think I saw it started popping up about, you know, Six or seven years ago, really, like, is when the, some of the key MMA gyms started opening up, and, you know, there was a huge interest through the UFC, and you got a lot of guys in there, um, just like any other fad of martial arts has started, you know, even since, like, the late 60s, early 70s, when martial arts really started becoming to a form from, which was, at that time, mostly traditional stuff, you get a fad of which is like, well, these are the best styles. So we're only going to train Muay Thai and we're going to train Jiu Jitsu. And those are the styles you need and that's all you'd ever need. And this style's better than that style and yada, 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 right? So from, you know, the timeline of martial arts, we've always kind of seen that. So I'd say, you know, about 2005, 2006, we had the breakthrough of like MMA schools, MMA specific schools and MMA specific classes starting up amongst the Treasure Valley. Um, I say primarily when that opened up, you know, you saw a lot of it was your Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and your Muay Thai, which is kind of two very basic, um, consistent components of what people use in their arsenal to develop mixed martial arts. Well, after which, you know, I think a lot of times once people start divulging deeper into what martial arts is and that it's still actually an art form and there's still a a perfection to be had by it it's not just throwing kicks and throwing punches anybody can do that I think with the transition of the professional sport as seeing more traditional style um, fighters you know like you got like your Lyoto and Machidas and stuff dudes that do Shotokan karate dudes you know you got your Anderson Silva guys who do real traditional Muay Thai you know real traditional Brazilian Jiu Jitsu guys start saying well there's a deeper level of martial arts here there's something that I gotta seek I do need to learn how to kick karate or kick taekwondo or kick like this or kick like that or I do need to learn how to throw different types of elbows or different types of submission movements you know I mean with any, any style of martial arts they're all gonna be great as next but they have a different focal point and something that makes them more unique or more specialized in that area or that angle of the field so what I've seen lately now is with with the transition of this we're kind of bringing up a whole new generation of martial artists and instructors like a me being in that so I would say you know you're kind of like in the mode of second and third generation black belt second and third generation martial arts practitioners that are coming up from 
being trained here locally or not locally and starting to develop their own gyms and their own styles, their own methods. And because martial arts, the martial arts community in the Treasure Valley has been such a tight-knit group for so long, there was a lot of separation. But being that we've all known each other and know what we are, what we are going to do, what we're capable of, what people have done before, and what people are, are going to develop, I think the uh, door is widened and open because there's only so many resources. You have so many great, talented people. You might as well draw from every from every corner and section that you can. So what I've seen is with the with the uh, the old past stigma of my school needs to be separated from your school and your school needs to be separated from ours. This is what we do and this is what you do. I think a lot of people have found that that system in itself is starting to crumble because. In our, in our society, people need things that are going to work for them. So sometimes one method is not not the way, okay? So because of that, people are going to seek things, seek out what I do. I, I have a focus on stand-up martial arts. You know, for me, it's a lot of self-defense, you know, brutal tactics, things that are, like, skillful, um, background in sport karate, doing acrobatics, doing flips, things that are, you know, beneficial to an athlete, things that are beneficial to learning your flexibility, things that are beneficial to the mind, body, and spirit. You know, that's an angle of which people need to approach. You got a place like this, Jet House MMA, who's trying to pioneer and develop something that is cohesive to the new shift and the new wave of what is the new generation of martial arts the Treasure Valley. You've got a boxing coach, you've got your jiu-jitsu coach, you've got your karate coach, you've got your Muay Thai coach. You've got components of which are going to hit every angle and have a, a very organic and genuine and um, refined development in their own style that kind of mixes from old traditions to new ideas. So I think that's kind of where things go. Wow. In yeah. a nutshell. Yeah. Wow. That's you know, that's pretty uh, descriptive, you know, how, and you're right on. You know, I see a lot of uh, gyms doing a lot more cross-training with each other. Yeah. And, you know, I, and I think that's great. It, it's like you said, you know, you, you're going to need that. You know, I think steel sharpens steel. Yeah. And, and in this case, I mean, this isn't, you know, Jet House MMA isn't isn't the only place that, that you're at. You know, you're at other places as well. So you're, you're helping out uh, all the martial artists out there in the Treasure Valley. Definitely, definitely. You know, for me, it's like, I, the, I could only hope that anybody who I ever taught martial arts would completely surpass anything that I've ever been able to do. I mean, there's no point in carry on, carrying on the legacy if it's going to stay watered down and it's not going to, you know. I, the way I see it is all martial arts is mixed martial arts. I mean, martial arts is... Is, has been in our form that has been developed since mankind has ever documented anything. You know, you've got your storytellers, you've got your singers, you've got your dancers, and you've got your warriors. You've got your hunter gatherers, and these are all traditions and weapons still being used. You know, basic techniques: knees, elbows, punches, kicks, eye gouges, things that have been used for hundreds and hundreds of years, transferred and translated between culture to culture, and instructor to student, instructor to student, instructor to student. It's been you know, constantly evolving thing so I mean if I can do this then the little guys can do something big you know and you got to keep it going there's no point in trying it, you yeah know? you know well I, I think you know you you you're building the foundation of future martial arts you know by what with what you do you know and, so, and I think that's great Kyle hey I want to thank you for your time and and uh Wish you the best uh, 2013 and happy holidays and yeah. happy new year. Yeah, happy new year. Thanks, Doug.